Hi, my name is Steve. Thank you for visiting today. This is my video series where I give you expert information on all things Xfinity. Today we are talking about 10 things you can do right now to fix your internet. Let's get to it. Number one, check for service interruptions. Service interruptions can slow you down or knock you offline completely. So you need to know, is it just you or is it everyone? Your mom would call 1-800-XFINITY or 1-800-COMCAST, but you're either way cooler than that or you suffer from crippling social anxiety. Either way, you should install the Xfinity My Account app on your mobile device. You can use it right now to check for service interruptions and you'll have it on your phone in the future should you need it. Number two, check your modem status. If your modem is old and tired, might be time for an upgrade. Go to mydeviceinfo.xfinity.com. Make sure that your modem is approved for your current speed tier and that it has not reached end of life status. Number three, check your signal levels. If you don't know how to do this, you can visit the Comcast Xfinity forums. You can visit the official support sub on Reddit or you can watch a video. I will leave links in the description. Number four, power cycle. I know this is something that everybody makes fun of. However, it solves a surprising amount of issues. So if you have an all-in-one gateway device, unplug it for about 30 seconds and plug it back in. If you have a separate modem and router, unplug them both. Plug the modem back in. Once it's online, you can plug the router in. I know you got this because you are a strong, confident woman. Number five. Check your connectors. Inspect your connectors to make sure that they are broadband compliant. No crimp on connectors or screw on connectors. Also on the inside, your connectors should look shiny and new. If you need to replace them, you can watch my video on how to do so. I will leave a link in the description. Number six, consider replacing your ethernet cables. Ethernet cables can degrade over time. Uh, currently, they're really inexpensive. Uh, you might want to consider upgrading to some CAT6 or CAT6E. Number seven, check your security settings. Sometimes security software can be overbearing. This can slow down your internet connection or even in some cases cut it off altogether. So just make sure you find the minimum security setting that you're happy with so you can optimize your internet connection. Number eight, Reposition your router. A lot of people think routers are ugly and they hide them under the desk, in the closet. I've even seen them in potted plants. Don't do this. Your router is a radio transmitter and a receiver and it wants to be free. Be the hero that your router needs you to be. Number nine, change your Wi-Fi channel. Changing your Wi-Fi channel to a less crowded channel can dramatically improve your Wi-Fi experience. Uh, just log on to your router and in a few clicks you will be well on your way to Wi-Fi happiness. Number 10, choose the right network. Your router provides two separate networks, one for performance and one for range. Uh, choosing the right network for the right job can dramatically improve your Wi-Fi experience. And there you have it. If any of these things have cured your internet issues, you can call your mom and tell her, I have not been wasting my time on YouTube. I appreciate the visit. Please like and subscribe, and I hope you have an amazing day.